talking about something that I've been embarrassed about and I'm sure there are a lot of you who will be able to relate to it. I'm going to talk about facial hair like the title says. So I've always had black thick coarse hair around my jawline, chin area as well as my upper lips. And all the way from school, college, I have always been embarrassed about that. Um, my friends have made fun of it and back then I just you know just ignored it. I just acted as if I ignored it, but I didn't really ignore those comments. I used to feel really bad and I did a lot of research and I have done almost all the different things that you could really do to get rid of your facial hair. Here is an example of the type of hair I had before I started my facial hair removal journey. I've tried Upton, an age-old method, but that didn't really help. I think it only really helps people who have really thin, um, you know, fine hair on your face. I guess probably it'll work for you, but it didn't work for me. The next thing that I tried was waxing. Even before we talk about it, I want to tell you this, that it is very painful to get your face waxed. I got my face waxed around this area, almost this lower part of my face. I had tried it back during my college days. Um, the first time was around the month of November or December. So after getting waxing done, uh, my face was feeling very clean and you know soft and all, all good things and I felt really good. After a few weeks I went for the second time. Now this time it was not so cold. So the second time after I got my waxing done um, I got boils all over my face um, especially this area that I had waxing done and in, since the first time I got it done I never I did not see those kind of results I thought that probably something else triggered all of that um, so I just went ahead for the third time as well so after the third time I realized what was going wrong and I just stopped getting waxing done around my jawline and this part of my face um, I had a lot of sideburns actually so that was the reason I would get waxing done um, but after that I stopped and I would just get waxing done around my upper lips and my chin area just this area and sometimes instead of waxing I would get threading done so that was the other thing that I did so uh, upper lips and chin are okay if you get threading done it's a little painful but it's um, bearable and I guess most of girls do that um, there were there were a lot of days that I got threading done for my upper lips and my chin so I don't think uh, that's a bad idea but waxing your face I would never recommend if you know that you'll be able to bear that pain and you know that your skin is not going to react then fine I mean if it works for you then it works for you but it did not work for me after failing with Upton and waxing and threading because threading was not solving the sideburn problem, the jawline problem, my hair was still there and I would always put my hair like this <laughs> during my college to, to make sure nobody really sees this area of my face and you know will, would call out that she has a lot of hair so I was really embarrassed about this. So I waited for a few years and got laser done. Now. Now it's not laser hair removal, it's laser hair reduction. If anybody tells you that if you get laser done, 100% hair will go away, they are lying to you. I had uh, 13 to 14 sessions done. Even then, I have a lot of hair. Yes, there was reduction. I would say around 60 to 70% reduction. Um, the thickness of my hair has reduced in many places but I still have a lot of hair and I'll show you all of that. Um, I'll try to put a picture over here and I'll talk, to, talk about that in detail in the next part of my video. Now the other thing that I tried was shaving. Now that was after my laser hair reduction. So I did not have that much thick hair on this part of my face. So I would just shave it uh, and, and that's all. But uh, I was always scared that I'll cut myself and so I just uh, didn't continue with that. The last thing that I have tried and which I continue to use uh, is an epilator. Um, so I use epilator on my jawline and this area on my chin and my upper lips. 
um and it is a little painful um i would uh, say it is almost equivalent to threading but if you get used to it and if you're using a good pilator i think that will be fine so i'm using it almost uh, on a regular basis i've been using epilator for around 3 years now and um uh, it's been great for me so i'm going to show you how it looks like how i do all of that and that's the upcoming so yeah so these are the things that i've done for removing the facial hair <laughs> and let's get into the next part of the video i've cleaned my face and here it is with all the hair and zero makeup i had exfoliated my face mildly yesterday you can see i have some thick hair here and there and i do have some fine hair as well i used this epilator from philips i'll put the details in the description box below and this is how it sounds scary but you'll get used to it i used the epilator for the hair around my jawline upper lips and chin I stretched the skin a little and moved the epilator in the opposite direction of the hair growth. A couple of times on the same area and then I moved towards the next area. I'm using an epilator from Philips but you can use one from any of the brands. My sister uses one from Braun that is good as well. And remember using an epilator hurts a little bit uh, because your hair is pulled from the roots but it's bearable. Do a patch test before you use it. and also this is not permanent hair grows back in a few weeks you can see that there is hair on the epilator and they have been pulled from the roots you can see the roots over there it comes with a cleaning brush you can wash the head as well the epilator is really good the battery doesn't die out quickly i use it multiple times without charging it um also there is a shaving head that comes with this epilator which is great as well For the hair around my forehead and my cheeks, I use this Braun mini facial hair trimmer. I can use the shaving head of my epilator as well, but I feel it's too big for smaller areas of my face and for precision I use this one. In circular motions, I use it almost all over my face and it trims off the hair very close to the skin and gives a very clean finish. It is so small and handy. You can carry it anywhere. This one comes with a battery. It's not chargeable. This is how my face looks like after I'm done. I also use aloe vera gel to calm my skin down and you can see there is some redness, but all the hair is gone and the skin feels really soft. If you have hair like mine, give this a try. But if you have thicker hair I would not recommend epilator directly cause it might hurt too much so that's it guys this is my hair removal journey and my current facial hair removal routine make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe cuz it really helps i'll see you guys again in the next video bye bye